be with you. I wanted to read a story about insects. Insects Visit Flowers, How and Why, and it's by Elaine Pasco. And these are real pictures. Somebody took a camera and got really close to bugs, insects. And that photographer is named Dwight Kuhn. A butterfly has landed on a flower. It is searching for nectar, a sweet liquid in the flower center. Look how pretty that one is. This butterfly is a yellow tiger swallowtail. Nectar is its main food. The butterfly pushes its long tongue deep into the flower to drink. Do you see that? Look how long that is. Ants and bees come to flowers to get nectar too. These insects do not know it, but they help the plants that they visit. As the insects search for food, they are dusted with powdery yellow pollen. They carry grains of pollen from one flower to the next. This allows the flowers to form fruits and seeds. Look at this insect's tongue. That is so long. And this is really close up. So we can see their tongue. Like normally it'd be very hard to see, but this person took a picture so close that this is the inside of the flower. And you can see how detailed that is and because it's so close. A flower is a bee magnet. Its scent and color attract bees and other insects. To a bee, flowers glow with colors that you cannot see. There's a picture of a bee and let's see here. A red flower may seem blue or purple to a bee. The flower looks different to the bee because the bee can see ultraviolet light. People cannot see this type of light. So this is what we see and this is what the bee sees. Look how different that is. See how the Orange center looks green, glowing. They see so differently. A bumblebee gathers pollen as well as nectar when it visits flowers. The bee collects nectar in its crop near its stomach. It collects pollen on its hind legs. So if you look, there is a big yellow circle on his back legs, and they're gonna tell us about that. Brushy hairs on each hind leg form a sort of pollen basket. When the pollen baskets are full, the bee flies back to its nest. So see all the hairs? It grabs the pollen and it clumps together and collects, and when it gets so heavy on their leg, they know it's time to go back. If you keep an eye out for bees, sometimes you can see those yellow balls on the back of their legs, the pollen baskets. At the nest, the bumblebee shares the nectar and pollen with other members of its colony. So here, He's pushing some nectar into the colony. Bees store extra pollen and nectar in little wax chambers called honey pots. This stored food is very important. It will be eaten by young bees as they develop into adults. So this must be the honey pots.
I'm looking at that. I, it's hard to tell what everything is when it's so close up. I was trying to see if maybe there was a baby bee we could see, but I don't, I can't tell what's a baby bee or what's a honey pot because I've never seen it. This striped cucumber beetle is not interested in pollen or nectar. Let me turn it this way. It has come to eat the petals of the flowers. See the holes? It's already chewed away big sections of the petals. Insects such as this striped cucumber beetle do not help plants. If these insects eat a plant's flowers, the plant will not be able to form seeds. So um, the flowers are the part of the, I mean, the flowers are the part that forms the seeds in the plant to start new flowers. So if they eat up the flower, the seeds can't grow. This insect is hiding among some goldenrod flowers. It is an ambush bug. To this insect, flowers are a hunting ground. The ambush bug preys on other insects. When a fly or beetle or some other insect visits the goldenrod, the ambush bug strikes in an instant the bug has caught its dinner. So, looks like a fly. See the wing of the fly? So some insects eat other insects. And that is the end of the book. So that is why insects visit flowers. So some insects like the bee and the butterfly get their food from the nectar. And the ant gets its food also to get nectar. And beetles, like that striped cucumber beetle, come not for the nectar, but they visit flowers to eat the petals. And some insects come to hang out to wait for other insects that are coming to drink to have their lunch. So that's why insects visit flowers. I hope you like that story.